Greetings, comrades. My name is Vladimir Petrov. I am third secretary for Soviet embassy in Canberra. I make typings, I make tea, and I make recordings for KGB. This is my wife Evdokia. She is also working for Soviet embassy. She is terrible cook. And she is also in KGB. We are both make spying on country of Australia. In 1953, our great leader Joseph Stalin went to great party room in the sky. Only problem that our boss, Lavrenti Beria, was seen as threat to take over country. So Beria found bullet in his brain and all his staff took permanent holiday to Siberian Gulag. One more problem, we work for Beria. And if we go back to Moscow, we probably find bullet in brain. Or Gulag. Or both. So I decide, go back to Australia, give them my spyings, and maybe I get to live. I find a nice spy man from ASIO and tell him I want to swap sides. Man from ASIO asks me for a list of all Soviet spies in Australia, and he give it to government. Prime Minister Menzies, he goes bananas and he's screaming, Reds on the bed, communists in Labour Party, and he calls for referendum to ban Australian Communist Party. Australia crushed your referendum like a bug because it create legal argument to trample civil rights. Soon Moscow finds out of my defection, and they send over operatives to escort me and my wife back to mother country. While I am in the safe house, they pick up Evdokia to take her back to Soviet Union. They drag her onto a plane, and they say they will kill her family back in Russia if she does not come along. Plane take off from Sydney. Halfway to Darwin, Prime Minister radio plane and ask her if she wants asylum. She decides to defect as well. When they land at Darwin for refuelings, Asia spymen board plane and arrest KGB spymen for having guns on plane. Australian embassy in Moscow is expelled. Soviet embassy in Canberra is recalled. I give lists of all Soviet spies in Australia to governments, and they give Evdokia and me new identities and nice house to live. We no longer KGB. We're now Aussies, fair thinker. Happy times.